बाकी फिर क्या चल रहा है अभी क्या बदला अभी ये समय में आई गेस एक साल में अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव चेंज्ड पहली बात तो मैंने एक पूरा साल कुछ ज्यादा ही चिल आउट करके निकाला बहुत बकवास करी टाइम बहुत ज्यादा वेस्ट किया आई गेस तो अभी थोड़ा सा एक साल के बाद ऐसा वर्क मोड में फाइनली एंटर करते हुए पहले डिफिकल्ट लग रहा था बट अभी फाइनली सम वर्क थिंग्स फिगर आउट हो रहे हैं सो आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन ऐसा हसल एंड ग्राइंड मोड सेम ऐसे इलेवेंथ में ना जेनविनली आई थिंक ज्यादा से वो जो पढ़ाकू बच्चे थे उन्होंने शायद ज्यादा पढ़ लिया होगा हम में से किसी ने लाइक नन ऑफ मी माई फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल हैव स्पेंड दैट टाइम जस्ट डूइंग नथिंग इम्पोर्ट जस्ट वेस्टिंग टाइम एंड जस्ट एंजॉइंग इवन दो यू बॉन्ड की ऐसा मत करना ट्वेल्थ में पछताओगे अभी पछता रहे हैं क्योंकि अभी पढ़ाई हो नहीं रही है लाइक अभी भी हम इलेवेंथ के इसमें ही है कि मजे करने ठीक है बस पास हो जाना है बस है वो कैसे गियर अप अभी करना पड़ेगा ट्वेल्थ के लिए वाई डू यू फील की मतलब पीपल स्ट्रे अवे फ्रॉम डूइंग समथिंग लाइक पीपल एज इन इंक्लूडिंग अस लाइक वी आर नॉट एनी प्रकांड पंडित ज्ञानी लोग <laughs> जो इसके बारे में ज्यादा बोल सकते बट जस्ट लाइक इन जनरल कॉन्वर्जेशन वाई डू यू फील लाइक पीपल विल नॉट बी प्रोडक्टिव और दे प्रोकेस्टिनेट अबाउट अ सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इन देयर लाइफ See, I mean, I think that everybody has their own like reasons and all. Social media, we can say, is one reason, or any other like you know, unko se they get that uh, you know high by you know being uh, doing something else. I mean, not necessarily something wrong, but like you know, no except studying. Also, there are a lot of things. I mean, you know, games, video games, everything. Unko. उसमें लेकिन अभी उसमें ही मजा आ रहा है इवन मी फॉर दैट मैटर लाइक अभी मेरे को पढ़ाई का मन नहीं है ऐसे मस्त दोस्तों के साथ चिल करना है वैसे ही टाइम स्पेंड करना है कुछ इम्पोर्टेंट कुछ प्रोडक्टिव नहीं करते हुए बट लाइक यू नो ऐसे थोड़ा ये भी हो जाता है कि देन व्हेन यू सी समन डूइंग ऐसे कुछ प्रोडक्टिव देन लाइक शिड रो मेरे को भी गेयर अप करना पड़ेगा वन रीजन विच वी कैन से इज द प्रो क्रास्ट इज बिकॉज दे लाइक हो जाएगा बाद में कर लेंगे बाद में कर लेंगे लाइक फिर दे डू नॉट रियलाइज कि एंड में वो बाद में का ये नहीं आता है इवन सोशल मीडिया आई थिंक इज वन ऑफ द मेजर रीजन की पीपल प्रोकास्टिनेट अलॉट दे स्टार्ट ऐसे सोच के कि यू नो पांच मिनट दस मिनट ओनली विल स्पेंड बट उसके बाद यू नो दट टाइम कैसे चला जा रहा है पता ही नहीं चलता यू नो इट एंगेजेस यू सो मच की देन यू लूज अ ट्रैक ऑफ टाइम अराउंड यू एक और पॉइंट है जो लोग मतलब रेगुलरली एक ही काम करते रहते हैं फॉर इयर्स दे जस्ट गो ऑन डूइंग दी सेम थिंग एक मोनोटनस सा रूटीन बन जाता है एंड देन ऑल ऑफ अ सडन व्हेन यू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट थिंग यू गेट अ ब्रेक सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग एंड यू जस्ट फील ब्र मजा आ रहा है इसमें तो फन हो रहा है अभी एंड देन फिर उसके ऐसा उस चीज में मजा आने लगता है एंड देन यू जस्ट योर माइंड टेंस टू प्ले विद यू एंड यू जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट थिंग एंड यू tend to stay in your comfort zone then you feel ki ye abhi tak kyun nahi kiya you just feel like having that fun over and over again matlab procrastinate ka the main reason that i found for like majority of people around me somewhere with myself also like to a degree with myself was like pehle to social media as very correctly put like reels se bhi sab addicted ho gaya from uh, my dad to like my small brother everyone is like addicted with reels like kuch na kuch dekhte rehte hai there is something or the other that they have to search about too much interest ho jata hai logo ka kuch kuch topics ke bare mein and like to satisfy that they are like like reels dekhte kyunki ek to variety of topics milti hai and like the information is quick you get that like ekdam uh, quick boost of your uh, like hormonal level like i, I am studying psychology so like usme we were like uh, told by our uh, teacher she was like ki matlab ye reels wagera why we are addicted like neurally speaking why we are addicted to reels is like the dopamine and serotonin and oxytocin jo matlab alag alag hormones and chemicals hai hamare brain ke those get infused in our brain while we are watching these reels and that makes it addicted to the reels kyunki it's like ki i'm doing this certain x activity and uski wajah se i am getting a boost in my uh, uh, hormonal level i am feeling good i am feeling uh, very happy so i'll do that continuously and that's why maybe habits develop and like the second reason which i prominently observed in myself was like sometimes you are feeling bahut zyada hi shitty you are feeling very very low 
यू आर लाइक कि अभी कुछ करना ही नहीं है लाइक यू डोंट हैव दैट इंटरेस्ट यू डोंट हैव दैट मोटिवेशन एंड सो कॉल्ड करिज्मा टू वर्क दी वो बोलते हैं लाइक एक लेवल ऑफ चाहत रहनी चाहिए कि लाइक मुझे कुछ करके दिखाना है कुछ करना है वो डाई आउट हो जाती है वेन यू आर लाइक सैड बाय एनी मेजर एंड उसकी वजह से पीपल आर लाइक की लाइक मतलब नहीं करेंगे अभी एंड समवेयर आई एम ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड इन दैट लाइक टू अ लेवल एसेंशियली इट्स लाइक की काइंड ऑफ वो मतलब uh, एक एक भोंगा चाहिए लाइक मराठी में बोलते हैं लाइक एक पार्टी चम आगे लाइक टीट के पीछे एक भोंगा चाहिए जो कंटिन्यूसली कुछ ना कुछ बोलता रहे कि अरे कर ये कर लाइक वो If you have uh, listened that song, वो आशाएं करके uh, इकबाल मूवी का है लाइक कुछ करने की हो रास रास ऐसा कुछ तो उसके लिरिक्स है लाइक इट्स लाइक दैट मतलब वो लेवल ऑफ मोटिवेशन कंटिन्यूसली हम लोग को पीछे चाहिए ऑल्सो लाइक विथ द प्रेजेंट टाइम्स लोगों के अटेंशन स्पैन आर वेरी वेरी स्मॉल लाइक ड्यूरिंग नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज एंड नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज पीपल यूज टू टॉक की लाइक लोगों का एक मिनट का या फिर दो मिनट का अटेंशन स्पैन है जो बहुत कम है करके अकॉर्डिंग टू दो पीपल इट वॉज वेरी लेस बट नावर्ड इज इट हैज रेड्यूस टू लाइक वॉट टेन सेकेंड फिफ्टीन सेकेंड एंड लाइक वो हुक करके रखना उसकी वजह से भी वी आर गेटिंग अफेक्टेड वेरी एडवर्सली टू द सिचुएशन यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट हमेशा की यूर जस्ट फीलिंग सैड अबाउट समथिंग कभी कभी ऐसा भी होता है कि द पर्सन इज जस्ट टू हैप्पी एंड ही इज जस्ट एंग्रॉस इन दैट थिंग एंड फिर उसको लगता है कि नहीं काम अभी थोड़ा सा बाद में कर लूंगा You don't want to lose that feeling of happiness. You want to just stay in that moment for like ever. Exactly. Na par vai hai na like matlab why you are doing that work? Why you are feeling so called motivated and happy to do it? It's because like hormonally your brain is like ki bhai ye kar lunga to I'll get this uh, like the hormones that we have oxytocin and serotonin. Those are like the uh, reward mechanism of our brain. So like अगर मैं कुछ काम करता हूँ तो इट्स लाइक यू आर फीडिंग अ मंकी लाइक एसेंशियली वी आर मंकी तो लाइक जस्ट गिविंग लाइक एन एग्जाम्पल इट्स लाइक यू टेल द मंकी यू एक्ट टू हिम की लाइक मतलब मूव योर हैंड अ सर्टन वे और मूव योर लाइक अ सर्टन वे योर ब्रेन इज लाइक ओके आई इंजेक्ट दिस अमाउंट ऑफ दिस हॉर्मोन एंड आई प्लीज द बॉडी इन दैट वे एंड दैट्स वाई वेन एवर वी डू एनी थिंग द चार्ज और द मोटिवेशन टू डू सो इज बिकॉज लाइक ऑन अ हॉर्मोनल लेवल वी आर गोइंग टू बी इन्फ्यूज विद those uh, set of chemicals and that is going to make us feel good at least uh, feel able to do something wo rehta hai na ki like matlab you are uh, just asleep and uh, morning mein you get up but still like there is a level of hesitation that you have ki like why should i get up i'll i'll sleep that uh, extra 15 minutes i can sleep and extra 5 minutes i can sleep but like still nagging that you have ki like no i have to get up because i have this this uh, work or maybe i have to go this this place and meet this person at this this time so you get up and that's because like hormonally your body is like bro get up or like you are not going to get things done mentally you are like yo i have to do this 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 things this is going to affect me this way it's going to have effects like this so that's why you do it essentially matlab kaam usi wajah se hota hai like it's just one perspective i have like people may have अलग अलग पर्सपेक्टिव लाइक आई लाइक टू हियर योर्स लाइक मतलब तुम दोनों के क्या पर्सपेक्टिव है इसके बारे में आई थिंक 50% ऑफ द पीपल आज के वर्ल्ड में डू नॉट फील दैट किक फ्रॉम इनसाइड जस्ट एज यू गेव द एग्जांपल कि सुबह उठना है जाना है एंड यू गो टू डू दैट वर्क बिकॉज आधे से ज्यादा लोग का उस काम में इंटरेस्ट ही नहीं है यू नो दे जस्ट डूइंग इट जस्ट आउट ऑफ एट अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और वट यू से यू कैन जस्ट इवन कॉल इट अ बर्डन and i guess jab tak us cheez mein interest nahi aayega i don't feel this yeah there's a way out you've got that someone is going to come kick you be after you that you got to go do this work this that ye wo because he'll give you an example from the past 3 days all the three days i slept for just 3 hours every night but then on the first two days every morning i had to go out i had to be on some trips out there roaming around and having fun to subah uthne mein you know it was an utter excitement every day ki bhale 3 ghante soya but ha ab fun hoga bahar jayenge and interesting hoga and today just that i had no way to go out and meko sirf dimag mein tha kal raat ko ki nahi aaj bhi jaldi uthunga thoda padhai karunga kal se school chal hoga and all i could not get up i tell you and see that's what i think us cheez mein interesting nahi laga ki kya yaar padhai roz honi hai so your brain just functions that way about uh, feeling shitty or feeling down about something I feel like uh, there's a point that needs to be spoken about matlab uh, it, it will be thoda uh, naggy thoda polar to listen for some people but essentially the point is just that we need to have work done and 
the constructive thing that I want to tell is like there is nothing. I say, मतलब if you feel like, at the back of your mind कि like I'm feeling very shitty. I'm not feeling like कि मुझे काम करना चाहिए आज and uh, like ये करूँगा तो क्या ही हो जाएगा like if you're getting some negative thoughts or if you're getting like something that will prevent you from doing the work that you have to do essentially due to situations or maybe it's just your own choice like you're not giving that a uh, certain level of dedication and uh, time and effort that the thing needs you're not giving that and maybe just like if you are bolte uh, hai like matlab apne hunar ko agar tum genuinely ja ke if you hit the gym of your craft and you give like that 110% irrespective ki like you have that charge or not but just that ki you have to do it and you have to do it like the bestest way possible and you do that maybe you will not feel so much lazy or like you will not feel ki like there aren't any changes or there are uh, any changes that you have to make like you will excel in a way but still like you will not be dependent on the situation you will rather be dependent upon ki like you have to do the thing and you have to be better at it like if you have that attitude maybe some things can change but also like it has a very thin line uh, from being toxically hustle culture kind of jo wo hai but still like uh, what's what's your perspective on it i would say you have to just balance out where you are like you know it's just a motivation and it's not just like obsessing over that goal of yours you just like it just keeps that goal should just keep you running and moving i mean like going forward and it should not be ki i mean i also believe that goals in the end are like you know kabhi kabhi aisa bhi ho jata hai logo ka some people for them ek bar like goal bana diya they achieve it unka ho gaya bas i mean i achieved this na ho gaya mera so it shouldn't be ki tum goal banao and initially yes it would be your motivation uske baad sirf ye ho jata hai in a type ki tum us गोल को अचीव करने जाओगे अचीव हो जाता है एंड यूर लाइक माई गोल बिकॉज दैट इज ओनली टू टाइट गोल शुड बी जस्ट सच अ थिंग दैट इट कीप्स यू मूविंग फॉरवर्ड कीप्स यू रनिंग टूवर्ड्स लाइक योर सक्सेस योर फ्यूचर एंड यू नो समिंग गुड फॉर यू इट शुड नॉट जस्ट बी योर एंड पॉइंट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू नो यूल ऑलवेज बी इन दैट मेंटल टर्म ऑयल बिकॉज ऐसा हमेशा होता है ब्रेन विल ऑलवेज ट्रेक यू दैट वे तुम सोचोगे कि आज काम करना है आज तो बहुत ज्यादा काम हो जाना है यू विल गेट सम आइडियाज दिमाग में और ऐसे में दैट क्रिएटिविटी इज वेरी हाई टू जस्ट टू डिस्ट्रैक्ट यू द ब्रेन इज तो क्रिएटिव इट विल फाइंड आउट एन नंबर ऑफ वेज टू जस्ट गिव यू दैट वन रीजन कि आज ये काम क्यों नहीं करना चाहिए और ये काम कल क्यों हो सकता है इट विल गिव यू हंड्रेड एंड टेन वेज टू जस्ट प्रोकैस्टिनेट एंड यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट एज अनुष्ट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट सेटिंग गोल्स अचीविंग एट एंड feeling in life that i'm done the day a person does that i think the downfall st- uh, starts from that very point itself you need something that will always keep you moving in life and such momentary goals i do not think will ever help you in the long term i heard this very good statement from one of my peers and like matlab not exactly my peer like he is very elder to me that person but like uh, he's somewhat like that bhaiya energy that bro energy he has I call him sir out of respect. So like we were talking, and he told me it's a very simple. Like he told it in Hindi. He he was like, "He was simple fund." I see. That you take one thing and visualize it. Like you think about it. You are like, "That uh, I I'll get this in let's say five years. I'll get this in two years. I'll get this in ten years." And you work on it. But uh, somewhere you have to strike the level of happiness also while doing it. you have to enjoy the process and also like ki matlab uh, you have to extend that goal beyond what you just feel it to be it shouldn't just be like x it can be somewhere like beyond x also or just uh, not just beyond but like usse thoda zyada usse thoda behtar usse thoda bada aisa kuch you can do every time like you uh, reach that x but you you have to like somewhere have in mind ki like it's not the last destination that you have like for that age and you have to extend that goal to like something more kyunki that's only when your brain and your consciousness will chase it like not chase it essentially in a negative way but chase as in like it will try to uh, improve itself it will try to get itself better so that it can cater to that situation and you will grow as a person and you will be happy and enjoying also about feeling lazy there's one thing that i like to put before we end like this topic ki like 
someone is feeling essentially like i don't want to do this maybe it's just like as aditya put it your brain is finding ways like creative ways to distract you from that specific goal because essentially your brain ko nahi karna rehta hai kabhi kabhi it's like it will just be excess work for it so it's like i'll distract you you do something else till i figure myself out so like just your feeling lazy maybe there are some changes that you need to uh, either to or there are some principles as the society puts it ki like matlab ye karna hai to karna hai maybe it's correct to a form when things are sensitive when things are very very essential to your life if you are saying about your career jaise ho gaya you can be lazy at times but not always like matlab when you feel ke like you need a break take it kabhi bhi le lo but when you have to do the work you have to do the work like you can have that level of mindset maybe it will help you excel and like wh- what's your say on it matlab what i told yeah exactly i think it's always very important to have that sturdy kind of mindset because without that never in your life you'll see things working out for you in today's world there are a lot of those self help guides and get quick success in life chase your dreams in your 20s thing and get your achieve your dream in 2 years 5 years whatever it is but it is very important to realize that the journey that you're going through is very important and one quote i would like to put up i do not know where i read it but i remember that happiness is not a destination it is a journey so whatever you're chasing you always need to be happy you need to enjoy the journey and it's very important so like coming back to the original talk we were talking about like how social media affects people how it affects your attention spans how it's like uh, striking you with advertisements how it's like a business how it's making you a slave of itself but not really like it's a democratic slave if it's making sense so what's your say on like uh, social media as like a topic how like the algorithm is the king nowadays how it's affecting people how it's affecting lives how it's affecting professions like w- what's the thing about that you know there are good and bad things about everything you know it's like initially you think that you have a control over it and then slowly slowly the you know i would say that addiction starts building see it's this still i'm not saying that not necessarily every person who uses social media needs to be an addict to it some people have their uh, time sets ki this is my time for you know sp- uh, do uh, you know using social media this is my time set for studying etc etc but like it is also that sometimes that little time also you spend it may have like uh as you said about oh, the algorithm and stuff i would just tell you this is about like the other day it has so happened that i was feeling hungry and my whole instagram feed was filled with you know just different different recipes on food and even though i i was like not in the mood of eating something just watching that made me just like you know watching and reading the recipes made me so hungry it it made me want to order in or something and you know just changed my whole mood since i was not getting what i wanted to eat the social media is i would say that the bad thing is like even how uh, influencers and all use filters and all initially it's like okay you like it but then it also uh, somehow your inner self it like you know uh, breaks down that self confidence you have like see she looks so good and this and that like she or he whoever you know they look so good but i don't look like that i also want to look like then that you also become like you know a little under confident about yourself and everything it has its good and bad you have to just let it not influence you or affect you in such a way that it is uh, difficult for you that is just the main aspect that you should have control over your mind and how stuff affects you let it be social media or peer pressure anything in the world until the time you have that control you are free to do anything once you realize that okay you are not having that full self control on yourself you should you know try to train yourself to have that self control and cut off activities which you think or that are in some way or the other you know putting you off from yourself or just making you feel you know the shitty about yourself you should have that control and you should have that uh, conscience in yourself to understand what is right what is wrong and just deal with it according to yourself so each person's you know way of dealing should be different and it should be accustomed just to you i'll just like to extend what you told like social media was essentially created like the origin of social media it was like ki 
more people come on the internet internet was like booming at that point it was very very new it was uh, the golden investor period of internet so it was like ki we'll create social media as like a part of that ecosystem so that people who have the access to this internet social media gave the people essentially a chance ki like matlab agar tum dur bhi ho you can talk with that person any time and like at the uh, at like one click ka distance and at your own level of comfort ki like matlab apne aaram se tum kabhi bhi you can message that person the message stays you can have a conversation wagera wagera like that's one perspective i like to put even though there is like you know it is not pressurized but like nowadays it is such a situation that you know if in case you don't have any kind of social media like, oh you don't have everybody uses it why don't you use it this is also builds up a kind of peer pressure that forces out like maybe even i should download it see what is that you know craze about that everybody is using it and that also sometimes you know leads you down to the wrong path yeah i think completely true because shouldn't let something which was meant for the good to ultimately become the bosses of our brain because once that happens as you said it just starts influencing us and you know when we see all these influencers out there those so called successful influencers in the early 20s and you just feel bro ye to must hai it's just so easy to do maybe if that person can do even i can do it and when you just step down in that real ground and when you see that it's potentially kind of i wouldn't say impossible but yeah the ground reality seems to be a whole lot different from what you had seen on those 10 second 20 second reels you just tend to feel that no maybe there's some fault with me or maybe i'm not good enough these small small things just build up and they just make you feel that you are not good enough and makes you feel under confidence so i think that's the state of mind that you need to build what is the time that usually we all use social media for like uh, and what are the works that we usually use it for so essentially for me mainly i mean i don't use other social media apps that much for me mainly it's instagram only and i tend to it depends on my day if like you know i'm more free during the day i may just like check it once or twice i don't spend a lot of time but usually my time is like at night after like finish it up, up my work everything throughout the day i just go like you know once check in night like what's happening what's the new thing on you know instagram now if what's buzzing everything i just check it once maybe for like half an hour to one i do spend some time on it but throughout the day i think i if i'm busy I sometimes I don't even check my social media for like two three days. But like now, if I'm on, if like now vacation is going on stuff, I think I use it like every day for an hour or so. And like mainly, it's just for just like knowing what's happening. Sometimes something new, like someone has gone to some place, so like wow, it's you know they're seeing or some new movies out, and like you know how is it? Like it's just different thing. Like to know what's going on for the people around us, and like even around the world, what is happening in general. even for me i'll say that maybe every day kind of when there's time like vacations and all it certainly stretches about to an hour or so but it just totally depends on my routine i tell you because there are some days i am totally unproductive to be very frank enough and i spend a lot of time on all these things but on days that i feel i was good enough maybe this just few minutes I feel personally social media is a very unhealthy bounce board that we have made it to be rather than we use it as like a tool and like the influencers that we called out like the so called successful people all those use it majorly as like a tool because they know like what's the effort that goes behind those activities that they do for their social media pages and their accounts but like they don't kya bolte necessarily use it as like a consumer but it's rather they use it as like a provider perspective they have for it they have like a provider angle to it about social media i'll say ki the addictive personality that people have nowadays like the attention spans and like hooking and all social media is catering to that a lot and it's deteriorating it essentially like it's a very polar opinion i'll say but जो रील्स है उसकी वजह से एंड लाइक द रील्स एंड वॉट एवर लाइक शॉर्ट्स क्या क्या नाम दे दे सबने अलग अलग लाइक द टिकटॉक स्टार्टेड इट बट लाइक इट लाइक वेंट थ्रू मतलब इफ यू स्कैन इट एज लाइक अ पर्सन एज लाइक अ नॉर्मल पर्सन 
TikTok was started as like people wanted to dance on their like favorite songs and they used to put those videos on like a dedicated app and from that to like the reels transitioning into informational clips then to like long form content ko cut cut karke we'll put it as like a short then like reels now like usme now youtube only is like promoting people ki like matlab uh, you uh, put a few amount of reels and like har reel pe if you have like 1 million wagera views it's acquainted with like a long form content ke certain hours of views it's like if you have that we'll start monetizing you also like that's something uh, weirdly quirky that i found through like the youtube ka journey ki like people are nowadays pushing reels but they don't really know ki like how it can pull you back and how it can be like that boomerang which you throw but it will come and hit you with twice the speed and twice the inertia on your face i agree completely to this people are not kind of ready to understand the potential of like the harm that it can cause and you know beat youtube beat the influencers it's a source of income for them they i think they are damn good at their job in delivering what they want us to see what they want us to do they kind of as you said mind ruling us and it's we who got to understand this thing and it's better if we do that in time abhi social media ka baat ho hi raha hai to recently we had like that marriage ka period matlab from like winters to like the spring season and jo abhi early summers the india mein it's majorly like the marriage season like lot of matrimonial ceremonies happen in this specific period of time like marriage was one thing that was like booming on social media a lot and uh, with that people were like commenting a lot about marriages on those posts and like jo matlab abhi due to social media only there is ki like a uh, standard set ho gaya for like a marriage and uh, they matlab the ceremony i'm not talking as a relationship also yeah a level of standard has been set by the social media somehow miraculously ek uh, level of aisa hi relationship chahiye ya fir like aisi hi marriage chahiye aisi hi shaadi like si ceremony humko chahiye aisa standard ho gaya what's to say about that matlab uh, recent topics ki agar baat kare to aise matlab abhi present time mein chal rahe the ya fir chal rahe hai like what's to say about that about like how you said like you know people show out show like you know let it be their marriage or like you know their relationship or anything it is like mostly whatever you know they show the good aspects of it but sometimes you also like you know you need to know what is the people think like you know marriage is like all just happy happy and like everything because that's what like in general obviously you why would you want to share like you know what is going wrong in your life you're on social media where like everybody seeing it why would you show like you know the negative aspects or something let it be even like vs person when someone like showing so much i'm like why are you I'm like if that's going on your life okay just bear with it sometimes you know we like to see the good aspects and we're like wow this is so nice and like let it be regarding like if they're having a very posh marriage i'm like wow this is so beautiful this that everything let it be over the relationship we only see the good aspects of it but we don't understand even in relationship like any good relationship has its ups and downs and like they worked those people have worked in the relationship on themselves like together and you know they have now come to that point where they are together even like you know these marriages and all it's not necessary like everybody needs to get married in that posh but everybody like you know i think it is mainly that it should suit you you suits you it's like do whatever you want you want to have posh wedding have posh wedding you want to have a simple it should not be like you know just for social media just because everybody's doing it you should do it like you should do what you like and you should like you know somehow everybody like even though people know it we tend to forget it it's like even though you know ki like you know not everything you see on social media is true and not everything you see on social media is right even though sometimes you see it and you tend to believe it that is something that is there a lot of people nowadays you're like since everybody is doing it i'll do it or since i saw it it is right you have to know what is truth you have to do what is you and i think that is the best thing even in a relationship or like anything it's like you have to do what is good for you it's not what people are doing yeah exactly i think this social media thing about be it about marriages or be it about relationships they sometimes raise kind of the expectations ka bar so much 
that people tend to forget what is their real life totally about and that a real life and real life they kind of go and mix it up people are just showing off maybe about their weddings and all it's all right you go to admire it it's nice but just remember that thing everybody wants to showcase the best version of themselves nobody's going to show the shitty part about it be it anything going wrong so it's very important to remember that and as far as for relationships i think it's very easy to just display it on these social platforms or be it anything and everybody out there will feel wow they are like the ideal people out there and we got to learn from them and then drastically the person's expectation i think from the partner or it just increases the bar and if you like yaar aisa kyun nahi ho raha is there something wrong with us is there something wrong with that person but no it's not everybody you cannot be the person who's there on social media do you actually even know 99% of those people in their real life so it's very important to understand that thing yeah bhai yeah, like matlab essentially people are like they have a notion ki like partner ho to aisa ho like matlab पहले द सेम नोशन वॉज क्रिएटेड बाय बॉलीवुड एंड मूवीज मतलब जो लोग बोलते लाइक फिल्मी हो जाते हैं लोग इट वॉज दैट फिनोमिना बट नाउ दैट वी हैव लाइक पहले के लोग ऑल्सो लाइक टू दैट बॉलीवुड थिंग आई लाइक टू एड लाइक पहले के लोग मूवीज उतनी देखते नहीं थे लाइक इट वॉज मेजरली की लाइक टीवी पे लग गई तो पीपल इज टू सी दैट और इट वॉज लाइक की मतलब कभी सिनेमा में जाके लाइक नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल यूज टू डू दैट जो अभी करते लाइक आउटिंग वाला थिंग बट जो भी करते थे लाइक इट वाज लाइक अ मॉन्यूमेंटल थिंग लाइक जाके एक मूवी देख ली पीपल वेर क्वाइट सिंपल बैक देन सो दे यूज टू गेट लाइक इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय इट दे लाइक कि मतलब हाँ मतलब ये अच्छा लगा ना लाइक अमिताभ बच्चन एंग्री यंग मैन सब लाइक जितने भी लॉन्डे सब जगह एंग्री यंग मैन बनने लग गए किसी को लाइक मधु वाला देख गए लाइक मतलब दी मोस्ट चार्मिंग ब्यूटिफुल सॉफ्ट स्पोकन लेडी नाउ दे आर लाइक की मतलब दोज एंग्री यंग मैन आर लाइक की हाँ मतलब अभी दैट्स द बार फॉर अस लाइक मेरी वाइफ होगी तो ऐसी होगी बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज आई लाइक मधुबाला एंड ऑल्सो लाइक फ्रॉम द फीमेल परफेक्ट फीमेल ऑल्सो लाइक मतलब ये हमारा स्टैंडर्ड है मे बी वी नीड टू डू दैट लाइक एंड इट चेंज विद जनरेशन टू जनरेशन लाइक फॉर वन जनरेशन इट वॉज मधुबाला फॉर दी अदर इट वॉज जूही चावला फॉर दी अदर इट वॉज दीपिका पादुकोन हो गई लाइक फ्रॉम जनरेशन टू जनरेशन इट चेंज बट नाउ विथ लाइक द एडवेंट ऑफ सोशल मीडिया we have like things instant and how we are addicted to it hum continuously kuch na kuch dekhte rehte hai like doston mein bhi like wo meme culture aa gaya to like aate jaate we have something or the other that has been like sent from like your friend to you or from like someone to you and you are constantly exposed to it so like the filmy kind of thing has like transcended and transferred into like people having their uh, expectations quite high क्योंकि एक तो कंटिन्यूसली तुम एक्सपोज्ड हो एंड सेकंड इट्स लाइक कि मतलब लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक यू आर बीइंग बम्बार्डेड विथ लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स थ्रू सोशल मीडिया सो लाइक तुम्हारा बार वैसे भी हाई था अभी और हाई हो गया लाइक दैट्स वन थिंग दैट आई सॉ पर्सनली वाइल टॉकिंग टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल नाउ एंड एंड लाइक ऑल्सो इन लाइफ जनरली what's your say on marriage like what is marriage according to you like now that we have talked about such a plethora of topic like how it's been affected how like social media is playing a part in like having things turn turmoil what's your say on marriage now that you have come of like a, a sensible age as parents put it <laughs> they are like bade ho gaye bacche so bade bachcho ka kehna kya hai shaadi ke bare mein basically i mean it's just a next step in your relationship when you find the right person i don't think i mean like it shouldn't be you know it's not such a big of a change as people say it to be i think so again i have not come to that phase i can comment on it completely but like i think do you know initiative in our generation and all now people like if this person can't like you know initially you can't work out each other's habits and like you know adjust with each other and like you know sometimes people just like you know when you just get married and like yeah i mean you have some things which you don't like the other person as they don't like and they like it's not working out according to me like you have to like you know live in with each other just you know understand each other sometimes it may be like you know when you're just speaking to each other spending time you're like okay fine this person is right for me but then some other things may be there which doesn't it should be the right person according to you just not like anybody like माँ बाप ने बोल दिया कर लो शादी तो कर ली यू कम टू दिस गेट मैरिड नो आई बिलीव लाइक इफ यू हैव बिन फाउंड द राइट पर्सन यू के नॉट जस्ट लाइक गेट मैरिड टू एनी बॉडी 
लेकिन लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम के लिए कम ऑफ दी एज इसीलिए ऐसा नहीं होता है पर्सनली ऑल्सो लाइक आई सीन लाइक यू नो इट डजेंट वर्क आउट वैसे जस्ट बिकॉज यू डोंट नो द पर्सन कम्प्लीटली एंड देन यू आर गेट मैड एंड देन things just don't work out right for you like isliye that person should also be right and you know it should be your choice not just like you know because of societal pressure or like parental pressure you take up a wrong decision and mostly it also happen that sometimes things go wrong just because you don't know how to put it out correctly or you don't put it out it's like it shouldn't be ki you don't also put it out and it should not be you just say it out and you know just hurt the other person's feelings you should also know the right way to say it to the other person each person has a different way of like you know understanding if you like you know ex- uh, give it in such a way that some person may be overthinking a lot some may think it as not something important you have to understand your partner and like rightly just put it out to them so that things can be just sorted between both of you very well bhai to hai na like matlab you have to build the relationship essentially like matlab kuch ka, ka, it's like कुछ करना भी नहीं रहता बट बहुत कुछ करना रहता है ऐसा रहता है लाइक रिलेशनशिप में एनीथिंग लाइक एनीथिंग नॉट जस्ट रिलेशनशिप्स लाइक एनी वर्क दैट यू आर डूइंग एनी थिंग दैट यू आर ईटिंग लाइक एवरीथिंग नीड्स इट्स स्पेस इट नीड्स इट्स टाइम इट नीड्स लाइक अ सर्टेन माइंडसेट टू पुश फॉरवर्ड एंड यू नो व्हाट ओवर टाइम नाउ आई हैव एनालाइज्ड दिस थिंग एंड व्हाट आई हैव ऑब्जर्वड इज 99% ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप्स और मैरिजेस व्हाटएवर यू विल से falter out not because they are short of love it's because they are not proper communicators i think it's that lack of communication it's that improper communication that plays that game wherein everything just falters away when you talk things out with someone 90% of the issues that you have misunderstandings that you have the notions that you have everything gets sorted out and cleared just by talking out like without any emotion like when you just come and innocently you talk with each other as like two human beings that's when things genuinely like the baddest of things get sorted out and like the bestest of things also improve in a way what do you feel like uh, is marriage like a sacred bond like what is marriage like is it a very logical reasoned uh, practical uh, robotic approach that we should have or is like the societal jo matlab marriage do uh, souls ka milan hai like w- what is the perspective that you have about marriage and what do you feel is marriage like a sacred bond you know it's usually like thing for your children or something but like if you're in a abusive marriage regardless of how sacred that bond is from which aspect would it be right to stay in that relationship just because you're married i mean that would be completely wrong to the person who is getting abused regardless of who it is i mean like you know re- understandability like you know souls ka milan and all that you know rub i mean it's not rubbish but like all that stuff is there but like you know a lot of times people are like this society like whatever think about your children still you i mean like you have children you should have still you know stayed you should have I mean, how? Why? How can you just be right when you're saying that person should have suffered instead of you know fighting out for their rights, which is basic human rights? Like there should be a balance that we need to strike somewhere. Now, I mean, it's it's sacred, it's philosophical, as put like very correctly by some people. But also, like if there is an abusive relationship that you are currently in, just talk it out. get out of it if you cannot do it just ask for a divorce like you don't need to have an obligation for divorces and uh, it being from both the parties like a man can also be abused as much as like a woman is abused and like aisa koi data nahi hai which can prove ki like women's are abused more than men and like the intensity of abuse is less for men than compared to women kyunki abuse is abuse at the end of the day done by anyone kyunki koi bhi kar sakta hai bhai insaan hai wo koi bhi kar sakta hai irrespective of ladka ladki ya fir kuch aur bhi ho like you cannot like just uh, structure it out and narrow it down ki like matlab a uh, ek ladki hai ya fir ek wife hai so she, she is only suffering in the relationship maybe the husband can also suffer and also like as you put ki like it if you are in an abusive relationship it can affect the person being abused and equally i feel it can affect the person who is abusing that second person also like uh, mentally psychologically and physically it can affect that person also see that is right that is why you know 
as you said it would not be correct to say it is just that you know uh, that sacred kind of thing or it is just like you know the modern aspect of it it's a mix of the two especially in way what you have to actually find the right i mean what you said was exactly correct and what all i wanted to say it's like you have to find the balance of the two and you have to do what is right for you not thinking about the other person i mean other person in the sense of like so i mean i mean society and like you know what is right for both of you sometimes even regardless if it is not even an abuse match sometimes normal marriages don't work out for x y z reasons so you cannot just like if you know you both are unhappy instead of like you know just going behind each other's backs and like you know doing anything it is better ki you all talk it out work it out it's not working for us so it's like you have to understand what is right for you yeah and divorce is not like the last option like you have many other options that you can cross through you can check through you can pass through before you decide ki like you need a divorce kyunki डिवोर्स इज अ बिग थिंग मैरिज इज ऑल्सो अ बिग थिंग बट उसके बीच में जो रहता है ना दैट समेर आई फील इम्पॉर्टेंट लाइक इफ यू फील दैट अ रिलेशनशिप इज फेलिंग फॉर एक्स वाइज ई रीजन यू जस्ट ट्राई टू गेट टू द रूट ऑफ इट इफ यू कैन एंड यू फील के लाइक इट्स जस्ट की लाइक देर इज नो लेवल ऑफ कंपेटेबिलिटी एंड यू म्यूचुअली बोथ ऑफ यू फील हाई आई आई कैन नॉट सर्वाइव इन सच अ मैरिज प्लीज ऑप्ट फॉर डिवोर्स क्योंकि अगर तुम साथ में रहोगे ना भाई कुछ उतना है ही नहीं एंड मे बी इट विल अफेक्ट यू एज लाइक अ पर्सन इन अगेटिव वे उससे अच्छा कि लाइक यू जस्ट गेट आउट ऑफ दैट रिलेशनशिप एक्सप्लोर गेट समथिंग दैट्स मच मोर सूटेड फॉर योर सेल्फ रैदर कि मतलब यू यू इट्स इट्स ऑल्सो कि लाइक मतलब पीपल विल से लाइक इट विल बी अ लिटिल सेल्फिश ऑन द पार्ट टू आस्क फॉर अ डिवोर्स लाइक इट विल बी थोड़ा ऑकवर्ड बट या इट्स मच बेटर कि यू सेपरेट आउट एंड keep things positive rather you let it turn toxic and let it turn bad divorce ke bare mein and marriage ke bare mein it's not that sacred any more because of how like the world is but i'm not telling ki uh, we cannot have that perspective uh, lying around also it's like ki matlab dono hai like uh, it's it's a level of balance between either of those uh, statements and either of those perspectives i feel you know it's not just about secret it's not just about being technical in a relationship because you know just put away that aspect of secretness or just leave it out if you beat any relation you cannot always live through your life being technical being that thoughtful taking that robotic mindset in place and you need to figure out the right balance of both the things you need to find the right spot wherein you need to be technical and wherein you just bring that element of sacredness in between that thing yeah and you know as i said earlier it's not this life marriage divorce it's not a joke you know you need to put your mind your heart to it and you need to figure out and as you said divorce is not just the option there are a number of ways that you can find the best for both of you like i i as like a psychology student i can like empathize as like a person but i also have like a technical thinking a rational so called rational thinking of relationships and while observing it from that perspective it's majorly ki like the faults that people have in relationship it's ma- like major on the basis of communication or like the uh, notions that people have of themselves and like how people how is it that people play with each other's feelings and how like does it affect one like playing with someone's feeling and like how is it from like a diverse perspective like a person who is playing with other person's feeling and from like a consumer perspective like he, the someone who is being played my take on this is like from the like maybe the giver's perspective is either that person has like you know he has been played with before so that is why he thinks this is the right uh, approach or maybe it's like according to that person it is the right approach so they go along with it but they don't think about the other person more i would say from that you know from the receiving aspect it is like sometimes it undermines your like self confidence you know or like you know it just breaks your trust like how can i trust this person then how can i you know i mean like what should i do i mean like what if you're like scared to like you know t- uh, example you have been like you know uh, if someone has played with your feelings in a relationship the next time you're in a relationship you're always scared that the f- what happened in the first time should not 
happen again you're scared for that to happen or you're scared for like you know things to work out in that way only and each time you are you know you take steps in such a way so that you stay protected and you don't feel as hurt you were previously and uh, see it, somewhere down the line it's like you know you have some kind of trauma which is like attached to you because of that it may it's not like a such a huge thing like or something with like you, know, you have to talk it out you have to work it out from the receiver's perspective it's like easy you know but sometimes just imagine like you know if a uh, someone just acts so you know conscious and protected around you even you start feeling like is it me am i being that uh, uncomfortable person or something or am i just being too this about it but it's like they don't understand it's like it may be like talking it out is like super super important But like it also understand that if you're doing something like this from a giver's perspective, you have to understand what if someone did that to you. I always say that you know if whenever you're doing something, just imagine someone doing it to you. If it's okay, if you are okay with that, then maybe it is okay. But like you know, if you wouldn't like it, then how are you expecting someone else to like it? If you're treating someone, you know, you're just simply like, tagging around a person and like you know just giving them false hope. If someone did that to you, you wouldn't like it. Similarly, why would the other person like it? Why would you be right doing it? Why the other person would be wrong doing it to you? Somewhere down the line, you are giving that person, you know, one essay unsolved, like you know, of the thing that you know. Somewhere down the line, always they'll think about it. Like if this person did it, anyone else can also do it. Or like you know, there must be a reason why that person did it. There must be some fault in when you're giving, making that person just underconfident in themselves. exactly you know it's very important to be honest with each other and people do not think while i wouldn't simply call it just cheating or breaking the other person's heart there are a lot of elements involved into it sometimes you know it's just coincidental maybe in certain things that the person has done some act or has behaved some way and maybe the other person did not find it good and all so that's again where my earlier point comes into play to effectively communicate to honestly communicate as say like have you as individuals being played with or have you played with someone's feeling or have you been played with by someone like in your feelings or a department for me i think fortunately not anybody till now like i was fortunate enough to always have those good friends till my class 10th i had a lot of friends who were actually just maybe pretending to be friends and not really the people who feel good for you when you do something good when you achieve something they were not the people i wouldn't say all but yeah there were some people who are not always happy when something good happens to you so yeah i have had those kind of friends but i don't think in terms of relationship or anything i have had somebody or it's me who has ever played or somebody has played with my feelings or anything i don't think i have played maybe i mean like see unintentionally if that is happened i don't know but like i know with i mean as i said i follow the rule that if someone does that same with me i would be hurt so why would should i do it so i haven't like intentionally played with anyone's feelings but played with my feelings i'm like not necessarily but yes i've had a few people like down the line who like i considered them like really close to my heart i'm like i am this person who like trusts people really quickly i've had this habit since my childhood and even though a lot of time my parents have been like you know it's not the right you know you cannot just keep trusting anybody and everybody i tend to just trust people really quickly and you know they just did something and like you know they've gone out of my life i start regretting and like why did i give this person so much importance so why did i you know do it why didn't i listen to you know my parents or like someone saying that they are not the right you know they're not the right friends or something i'm like then i start regretting and then obviously it leads you to be as i said it was somewhere i spoke from my own experience that i grew under confident like if that person did this with me like something wrong with me that is why they did it but somewhere down the line there is this little thing that it makes me feel a little uh you know a kind of like inferior like there is something wrong why would have someone done this with me if there was you know if everything was fine or like you know if there was no problem there must be something that i must have done or something that has gone wrong with me yeah i have been played with but i intentionally haven't played i've have done the same thing to someone else. what about you ridesh 
has this happened with you it has been like uh, मतलब जैसा तूने बोला कि लाइक वो मतलब वो भोला भोला बहुत बिहेवियर है मेरा भी सेम है लाइक आई आई ट्रस्ट पीपल लाइक ऐसे मतलब आई आई टॉक विथ रैंडम स्ट्रेंजर्स लाइक आई नो देम फ्रॉम लाइक व्हाट थर्टी इयर्स फोर्टी इयर्स इन माय लाइफ दैट्स वन थिंग आई एम वर्किंग ऑन बट आई समवेयर फील के लाइक ओके लाइक दैट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ माई पर्सनैलिटी तो लाइक उसको उतना छेड़छाड़ नहीं करना बट स्टिल आई नीड टू बी थोड़ा केयरफुल अबाउट इट एज आई एम लाइक एजिंग and uh, as like i'm growing up i i i think like i should be thoda careful with it but i cannot let that die out as like a quality of myself but uh, playing ke bare mein are like bahut normal normal cheezon mein bhi i get played like kaise matlab kaise bhi people like uh, mai convince na bahut jaldi ho jata hu and my parents use it all the time my brother uses all the time this trick लाइक like, अभी आजकल तो लाइक कुछ कुछ जो मतलब ऐसे क्लोज फ्रेंड्स है ना दे आल्सो लाइक यूज इट टू नॉट बैक स्टैप मी बट लाइक कॉमिकली रिप्रेजेंटिंग इट इट्स इट्स थोड़ा बैक स्टैपिंग टाइप लगता है कि लाइक दे नो माय वीकनेस इन अ वे छोटी सी छोटी चीज भी हो गई जैसे अभी लाइक आई एम आर्ग्यूइंग लेट्स विथ माई मॉम अबाउट वॉट्स गोइंग टू बी देर फॉर डेना सो लाइक मम्मा विल भी लाइक कि ये चार मतलब घर पे चार चार सब्जी है लाइक बैंगन है आलू है पता को भी है एंड uh, कोई और लाइक दाल की सब्जी बना दो ऐसी है सो लाइक आई डोंट नो हाउ बट लाइक मैजिकली माय मदर जस्ट लाइक कन्विंस मी टू एक्सेप्ट द फैक्ट कि लाइक आज पत्ता को भी ही बनेगी तो दैट्स वेरी फनी थिंग बट लाइक बींग प्लेड एंड बी एंड लाइक प्लेइंग विथ पीपल इट्स लाइक कि मतलब प्लेइंग विथ पीपल इज फाइन आई फील लाइक इफ इट्स नॉट हर्टिंग एनी वन सेंटिमेंट्स एनी वन इमोशंस लाइक प्लेइंग इन द सेंस इट कैन बी लाइक वेरी एवर स्लो स्लाइटली लाइक वी कैन प्ले विथ सम लाइक फीलिंग लाइक प्ले एज इन लाइक नॉट ऐसे ही कैसे ही बट जस्ट लाइक की काइंड ऑफ ऐसे मतलब नॉर्मल बोलते हैं लाइक लाइक द लेवल ऑफ कन्विंसिंग दैट वी हैव और समटाइम्स की लाइक कुछ लोग स्टबन रहते हैं सो यू कन्विंस दैम यू टेल दैम थिंग्स और प्लेइंग को यू कैन ऑल्सो टेक एज लाइक एन एग्जाम्पल कि लाइक कुछ हो जाता है तुम्हारी लाइफ में ओके लाइक समथिंग सडन एंड यू जस्ट लाइक स्टे काम यू टेल लाइक दी अदर पर्सन टू स्टे काम लाइक जैसे अभी रिलेशनशिप का कुछ लाइक किसी का ब्रेकअप हो गया तो यू टेल दैम कि लाइक मतलब हाँ कुछ नहीं शांत रहे लाइक दैट्स लाइक अ पार्ट कि लाइक यू आर प्लेइंग विद दैम लाइक इन अ वे बट आई डोंट नो लाइक इट्स इट्स वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स बट स्टिल आई फील इट्स ओके इफ इट्स नॉट हर्टिंग एनी बडी इफ इट्स हर्टिंग प्लीज भाई लाइक गिव इट अ सेकेंड थॉट एंड लाइक generally just anything that you do please be innocent honest and like just just kya bolenge like mindful about it whenever that you do anything you say anything you think anything just like a level of mindfulness should be there attached with it i mean there is and this makes me realize that we have a lot in common genuinely as if in our nature jaisa bhi ye playing ka topic hai chal raha hai Have you uh, seen that ad of like the Apsara pencil का जो ads आती थी like extra marks for good handwriting वाली वो किसको नहीं याद है hundred and five out of hundred अरे वो वो extra marks for good handwriting that's a way of playing with someone like I don't know uh, like मतलब uh, it was like कि Apsara की वो ad है and the ad was like it made somewhere like a false opinion on like a whole generation क्योंकि हम जब हमने लाइक ये ऐड देखी है वी वे लाइक वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो वी वे लाइक की काइंड ऑफ हाँ मतलब अगर अप्सरा की पेंसिल लेंगे तो डार्क वाली होगी एंड लाइक मेरी हैंड राइटिंग मेराक्यूलसली चेंज हो जाएगी आई विल गेट एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स फ्रॉम द टीचर लाइक आई डोंट नो वाई बट पीपल स्टिल स्टिक टू इट समेर लाइक द एड एंड लाइक द नोशन दैट इट क्रिएटेड की लाइक मतलब एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स फॉर गुड हैंड राइटिंग लाइक ऐसा अभी तक तो भाई कोई ऐसा मेरे एलिट क्लास देखा नहीं है लाइक जहाँ पे एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स फॉर गुड हैंड राइटिंग टीचर्स दे रहे हैं बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई लाइक पीपल आर स्टिल स्टिकिंग विद इट कि लाइक एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स फॉर गुड हैंड राइटिंग मिलते हैं विद अपसरा पेंसिल आई डोंट नो व्हाई लाइक व्हाट्स से ऑन दैट इट्स लाइक यू नो ऐसे बहुत बार ऐसे स्कूल में ऐसा होता है कि लाइक यू नो टीचर्स फेवरेट हो तो तुम्हें ज्यादा मार्क्स मिलते हैं अच्छी हैंड राइटिंग है इसीलिए ज्यादा मार्क्स मिले See, there's a lot of things that you know, not just in school. Like a lot of things, you know, people be like, you know, since they cannot reach. I mean, this is what I believe. It can be a little, you know, uh, people can disagree. But like, if you ha- are a little, you know, better than them, their methods just bring you down to their level, and you know, 
uh, kind of like demotivate you or demean you in such a way that you know you feel a little bad and then you start doing this but i think you should just rise above it and you should keep your goals in mind your focus in mind and just go ahead you know they they may say as in extra that's obviously in school as everybody hota hai ki you know ye karoge to extra marks milenge wo karoge to extra marks milenge why is it aisa kuch hota nahi it's like your efforts your mehnat at the end of the day that you know comes into play in all of this अगर किसी के अफसर की पेंसिल चोरी हो गई है भाई एफ इन चैट फॉर दैट पर्सन लाइक आई डोंट नो बचपन में इट हैड हैपेंड इन फोर्थ और थर्ड क्लास इट वाज लाइक कि आई हैड बॉट लाइक अ न्यू पेंसिल का बॉक्स एट लाइक द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द सेशन एंड उसमें लाइक मस्त ऐसी नई पेंसिल वगैरह शार्पनर इरेजर आई हैड पोट लाइक एकदम अच्छे से ऑर्गेनाइज करके एंड द पेंसिल्स गॉट मिस लाइक मतलब Someone took those pencils and in, uh, uh, he or she put like his old छोटू छोटू वाला पेंसिल एंड आई वॉज सो डिजेक्टेड एज लाइक अ चाइल्ड आई वॉज लाइक कि लाइक मैं तो टूट गया बर्बाद हो गया लाइक मेरा कुछ नहीं होने वाला मेरी फेवरेट पेंसिल चली गई भाई मेरी एग्जाम में मेरे को अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं आने वाले आई डोंट नो बट लाइक एज लाइक अ चाइल्ड दैट फेल्ट वेरी वेरी बैड बट लाइक नाउ दैट आई थिंक अबाउट इट इट्स वेरी फनी एंड ह्यूमरस लाइक ऐसे को मतलब कोई एक्सपीरियंस है यहाँ पे लाइक अनुष्का तेरे रह सकते हैं फिर लाइक आदित्य भाई वापस से शांत शांत हो रहा है तू भी कुछ बता दे अपने एक्सपीरियंसेस नो मैं बचपन में आई वाज द किड दैट वुड लूज द पेंसिल्स आई माय मॉम वुड गिव मी अ न्यू पेंसिल एवरी डे एंड आई वुड लूज इट एंड गो होम और फिर मेरे को बहुत डांट पड़ती है लाइक नई पेंसिल दी थी काक हो के आ गई तो अभी भी लाइक यू नो समटाइम्स व्हेन मी एंड माय पेरेंट्स एंड लाइक एवरीवन वी सिट डाउन एंड लाइक यू नो फॉर समथिंग एंड ये सब बातें निकलते हैं लाइक मेरी गलती नहीं थी छोटी थी मैम लाइक दिस हैपन लाइक आई थिंक समटाइम आई गो ओनली वी वर लाइक पेंसिल्स या कुछ मेरा भाई ढूंढ रहा था मैं वो अमित लाइक ऐसे ही बचपन में ना तू अपने पेंसिल को क्या था फिर घर में ढूंढने लगती कि मैंने तो लाई थी मेरे को पता नहीं अभी कहां गायब हो गई सो आई डोंट हैव सच सच ज्यादा कुछ एक्सपीरियंसेस विद आई वाज द वन हु वुड लूज इट एंड द नेक्स्ट डे माय टीचर वुड रिटर्न इट टू मी because i i maybe i brought that one brand of pencil or something i don't remember like i used to bring the pencil to school uh, to home the next time mom would like see bola tha na tu ghuma ke aayi hai bachpan mein to i was that very sorted kind of child ki school mein gaya to bhi pencil tiffin kuch bhi hua i would just be very caring for my things i'll just take a whole lot care of things that nobody just maybe takes it away or kind of damages it anyway but yeah i guess i do remember ek baar i had this bottle of mine it was very close to me you know main hamesha aisa leke ghumta rehta tha us bottle ko I, i had pleaded my parents ki i want to take water bottle to my school and i guess ye ukc ya lkc ki baat hai us time pe they just told me ki theek hai le jao and the second day it somehow just broke and that kid he was the most mischievous kid of our class and he had broken my beloved bottle so i was just down that day i was like shit meri bottle chali gayi i am devastated now ab to you know there's no hope my favorite bottle is gone matlab aisa haal ho gaya tha us din aane ke baad as if pani hi nahi utrega us bottle ke bina and you know as a scene create hua tha us pe full aditya sounds like that uh, elite class wale bachche somehow <laughs> i don't know i i noticed it right now like it sounds like that elite class ke bachche jinko extra marks for good handwriting milte the i i can oh, i can vouch for a fact is handwriting isn't isn't good at least See, what i have seen it yeah, claims yeah, to I have good handwriting though that i have a bad handwriting but it's certainly better from the person who just <laughs> commented about my handwriting See okay what i have seen in that his handwriting is bad it's horrible but he claims to have good handwriting which i haven't seen yet so i think i'll win See all those claims have been well accepted by everyone around except for a few people so, and I don't know that your handwriting is good or right. bad it's always good and it was good I mean Aditya yeah. should you know send him Aditya should write a letter to Ridesh and like send it to him <laughs> and then maybe he would he would realize yeah. the pain the teachers go through while correcting your paper yeah for sure one day it will be for all his viewers and him and yeah. i'll get all praises from them wo meri zindagi ka sabse kala din ya fir sabse like sabse happening din rahega wo to aditya ki handwriting hi batayegi bhai see i can vouch for a fact that the content will be good but the handwriting no comments 
like what's the uh, most expensive thing that uh, you have lost like in your childhood like the most expensive thing kyunki maine bahut bahut cheeze khoi hai bhai main legit ye 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 thoda embarrassing hai mere liye par main legit meri cycle kho diya tha like bachpan mein like i just like left it out in the garden and then i came home and like the next day while i was like going to school in the morning it clicked to me ki like oh shit main cycle nahi laya meri like को चोरी हो चुकी साइकिल लाइक दैट वाज वेरी फनी फॉर मी लाइक व्हाट्स द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव थिंग दैट यू एज लाइक अ चाइल्ड हैव लॉस्ट और लाइक मतलब खो गई थी वापस मिल गई या फिर वो खोई हुई है अभी तक लाइक मिली ही नहीं लाइक एज चिल्ड्रन कैन आई से माय सेल्फ बिकॉज़ आई मीन आदर टेकन माउथ दैट आई हैव सो मेनी एंबेरसिंग स्टोरीज वेयर आई हैव गॉटन लॉस्ट because bachpan mein i had this really bad habit which i still do have but now i have my phone that if i found something really amusing or interesting i would just look i mean i would dev- uh, devote my full attention to it like you know if for example we were at a mall and uh, i found like something we were shopping and i found this one thing very interesting and i sat looking at it my parents you know they went ahead with the trolley and stuff and then i got lost i mean i I just stood there and then I when I look back I'm like my parents aren't there. I mean I've gotten lost at malls at train stations at metro stations I'm like at this point my parents still are like you know they like if they look back once even if I'm not not holding them I'm like your hair and I'm like mom I won't get lost now I'm like I can't trust you. So the most expensive thing I lost is I guess myself. As a child I think I was a very careful and a very responsible one I'll say. and i rarely mistakes or lost anything of mine but on the fun thing it's very recent that i've lost the most expensive thing till date and those were my airpods jiske baad meko i got whole lot of those lectures of parents ki itne bade ho gaye fir bhi dimag nahi aaya bachpan mein itne zyada responsible the so i think that was my incident recently that's i guess maybe 10 15 days back like what was the like make and model of those airpods like pros the ya fir saade the bhai Oh, pros. Arey, bhai, bhai. <laughs> <laughs> relatable. I I lost a smart watch like uh, about one one or two months back. Like the other station, me like full gardi chal rahi thi peak hour me, and I lost like a smart watch. And bhai, bhai ko itna bura laga. I don't know like, waisa wo childhood aise wapis hit back kya ki like she. It it feels like uh, criminal aise murderous lagta hai bhai wo. For real. <laughs> I that is why I hate crowded trains. I I just get scared because I mean I have had past experiences where I I mean initially I did not know how to get off train. So one day instead of getting off on the side the train is like going, I got off on the opposite side and I fell almost face front. I mean my mom or dad someone helped me. That's why I did not completely fall. So I'm like I got I get scared and scared and like I what if someone pushes me out or something? I had this recent experiences. I mean, recent we need to like two three months. See, I could go only. I was traveling to Kurla and I was Kurla. I was going to get off. And the train was so so crowded that like my pair, my mom, dad, and my brother got off. But like you know, people were like getting and pushing me inside. He, me, I was not able to get out. And then like somehow I got out because I I was actually having a bag on my shoulder due to which I was not able to get. Out. Like somehow I got out, and like that was the scariest moment because I thought I was train me shoot me while you and I am not a person who travels by locals a lot. It's initially because I am mean like अभी तो मैं कितना ज़्यादा दूर जाती नहीं हूँ and like initially बचपन में we lived in like a very ऐसे you know area where like you know we lived in science so it was very accessible to go anywhere like you know taxi or किसी से तो that is I see मेरे साथ similar recent recent में थोड़े time पहले ऐसा हुआ है Anushka is legit like that Ali from Doom. Like, usko aise kuch dekha, she's like, "Do ratta re giri ratta." Like, usko aise <laughs> like phase out ho jati hai puri. No, that is true. I mean, like, abhi bhi like you know, I mean, I have uh, I have like uh, ADHD. Like, just yeah, I mean, I am like this person. Like, I will start talking of one thing. This happened like the, I this happened like a week ago only. I was like speaking to one of my friends about. something and actually we were uh, we were like somehow the topic of nokia phones came up and i was telling my friend about how we had this like nokia phone which had this very funny incident where it got lost and we found it like two months later 
and the thing was like in between i would just lose track of what i'll say and start a different conversation and at that moment my brother was with me so literally in the 10 minutes convo three times he's reminded me didi nokia phone and like oh shit yeah i was speaking about nokia and then i'll just guide myself back to it i have the severe they have like if i rem- i will like whatever i find interesting i'll just t- turn myself towards it and i will just start going on about it adhd bhai bahut khatarnak cheez hai like <laughs> ADHD, like i don't have adhd but uh, it's it's just that ki uh, if i don't find anything interesting i'm like ki bhai chhod do like i i, I start to think about something else only kyunki like i don't know it's just with me or like uh, baki logo ke sath bhi ye hota hai i have like a million topics going through my mind like i may be thinking about like some very very like intellectually investing topic like uh, ai ho gaya ya fir like matlab social media ke effects ho gaya i'll be thinking about that simultaneously i'll be thinking about like some weird as meme or like uh, simultaneously i'll be thinking about like some agri koi song uh, and also while having like a normal conversation with like someone so when really like i have to record a podcast or do something i just go have a bath kyunki like i don't know why like having a bath just cleanses like the whole mental space and also like uh, i i am able to focus on just one thing like i i don't know if i have adhd and also about anushka like uh, have you diagnosed that you have adhd and adhd ka full form you it's, know it's it's no it's not like a ther- it's not like not a proper therapist but like yes uh i mean i'd gone to a doctor who was like you know i say he was like the, the doctor was like speaking to me about like everything in general like you know it was not a you know psychologist or some kind of doctor but it was like you know that person diagnosed me with like anxiety adhd and like self also i was like i know i cannot concentrate on anything for more than like 10 minutes or something the worst part like before my exam i'm like i have my exam in, like maybe i'll say like next morning i'm exam that night like i'll finish one chapter and then i'm like bro your book bahut achhi hai i want to finish it should i start reading it right now then i have to shit anish ka you have an exam focus exam 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 then i'll try finishing one more chapter with very difficulty and then i'll be like i think i should take a break and listen to a song i mean i know if i start doing any anything else i will not i will fail my exams so, like i have to like really difficultly like just train myself to just study at that moment i mean like, otherwise i can study but like just before the exam like the 6 hours when my mind is like fully anxious and like you know about to die because of the like mental pressure i'm having for the tomorrow's exam the other half of it is like cool and chill and he wants to do like you know different activities and you know wants to enjoy i'm like what to do are bhai like legit uh, matlab uh, now that i'm noticing i have very very similar traits like anushka and uh, like in in conclusion i i i thought about it hum dono like we are somewhere like kajol from like 2000s ki jo movies thi like usme jo kajol ke jo attitude hai we have very very similar traits to that and just ki like i i like to ask you pehle to like wh- what was your experience like coming on the podcast like having like a group podcast what was it i think it was no i had fun. a lot of fun <laughs> yeah and one more thing you know a thought just popped up in my and my mind all of a sudden you know hearing those adhd characteristics of both of you and when you named wo kajol wala thing i was like bro kajol siblings and you know that was the most provoking thought just came into my mind at that very moment and i think otherwise it was all very fun having this conversation with both of you yes and like you know it's when both of us no i i don't know why it's either like you know either me and ridesh have like similar point of views or me and aditya have similar point of view aisa hai to it's like you know when it's like just both of us and we have same point of view na we are not able to find a difference but like in today's podcast like sometimes if we both had similar aditya had like completely different point of view then that you know that brings a little you know diff- like, you know something sp- uh, into the podcast like acha ye alag kuch bol raha hai something you know we get a new uh, this also to the same topic we get a new point of view to the same topic so bhai tum sab log ko you know the drill like share subscribe zarur karo apne modi ji se bhi dur tak like uh, jadu tak pahuncha do main to bolta hu bhai like it's a very recurring line like jadu tak pahuncha do ye podcast if you are watching it on youtube 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब करो और कॉमेंट सेक्शन है ना उसमें जेन्यूनली थोड़ा एंगेजमेंट लाओ भाई लाइक कुछ बात ही नहीं करते इट्स जस्ट लाइक प्लेन ओल्ड आके सुन के चले जाते हो कैसा लगा क्यों लगा लाइक एंड इफ यू आर लिस्निंग इट ऑन एनी पॉडकास्ट होस्टिंग ऐप जैसे स्पॉटिफाई एप्पल पॉडकास्ट गूगल पॉडकास्ट तो भाई जो रेटिंग के सितारे हैं उन्हें चमक भूलना उससे हमें एक प्रेरणा मिलती है कि हम अच्छी चीजें कर रहे हैं एंड आई आई होप कि लाइक तुम सबको मजा आया होगा इफ यू आर लिस्निंग इट बिफोर स्लीपिंग यू विल हैव अ वेरी साउंड स्लीप वी विश फॉर दैट अगर आप इसे सुबह सुबह सुन रहे हो तो एकदम मोटिवेटेड चार्ज और एनर्जाइज तुम्हारा दिन जाए इसकी मनोकामना करते हैं And uh, I hope की like तुम सबको मजा आया होगा आदित्य और uh, अनुष्का थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग आउट द टाइम फॉर रिकॉर्डिंग दिस पॉडकास्ट एंड टिल नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस इज ऑल वी हैव थैंक यू बाय 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 थैंक यू सो मच एवरीबडी बाय बाय